And I was born to win before me leave this earth. I'm gonna make my mark. A soldier might die, but we'll never... Hey, Google. What time is it? It's 5.48 a.m. Hello and welcome back for another video. You guys, today we're just going to be doing a few little bits and things, bits and pieces of things here and there. Not a very serious vlog, but a lot of you guys said you wanted to see me do some shopping. So, we're going to do some shopping, but first, I have to do my laundry. And yes, and I have to go get a new puffer for my asthma. So, you guys are going to come along with me, but before we do that, I'm going to send Jezari off to school. Which was before this, but you know, I'm just smart with the editing and the vlogging. So yeah, we're going to send Jezari off to school, and you guys are going to watch me do my laundry first before we leave the house. Okay, guys? Make sure your bedding is all nice and clean, and don't forget to wash your black bra. Okay? Yeah. Anyways, let's do this, guys. Alright, so I got everything sorted. Dark shorts underwears heavy stuff and the tops that's Jazari's school uniform I like to do everything separate like the underwears I have to put in my mini washer just for sanitary reasons and then we're gonna go ahead and put everything else in the big washer it is kind of big it does hold a lot of clothes but I just like to separate things just to make things easier and then we have socks that I also like to do separate from everything else and then of course the whites which have to get bleached out obviously but for now let's go ahead and dump one of these loads into the big washer and then I'm also going to get my mini washer started as well let's go
All right, so now it's time to make Juzari his lunch to put in his bag. This is his lunch bag. Um, I typically would give him a lot more snacks, but I do have to go to the supermarket. So today he's just going to be having a sugar bun and some Pringles. And he typically likes to have a jelly sandwich. And here is the jam and a juice box with some water. So let's get the lunch made for today. <laughs> Don't mind the color of this. Because, you know, just already is a boozy. Of course, for Jazari's breakfast, he always likes pancakes, so pancakes it is. I'm just mixing it up. Get that perfect consistency. Sometimes I like to fry the whole batch and freeze what's left back. That way, in the morning time, I don't have to do this every morning. I just pop it up there in the toaster, and it's so much faster a lot easier but we ran out of the frozen ones so i have no choice but to make a batch from scratch nara smith <laughs> you guys comment below if you like nara smith because she has a lot of haters and a lot of lovers are you a hater of nara smith or a lover because i love her i just think she's just so different and cool she's like a breath of fresh air I don't have any butter right now, I ran out, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So while Jazari is eating his breakfast, I am going to take the clothes out of the washer and hang them on the line. And then he should be off to school and then I can go bathe and get myself ready 
to go on the road. All right, say bye to the vlog for now. Bye. Zari's off to school, guys. It's currently like 7.30. There's his friend, Junior. They're gonna head out now. See you later, I love you. Give me a kiss and a hug. I love you. Mm -hmm. Have a good day, okay? So before I actually go and have my shower and get ready, I'm gonna actually put in one more load, which is washing my bedding. The only thing is, is that I don't think I have enough room on the lines to hang everything. So I'm gonna see how that goes because there's another line in the back of the house. But for now, I'm just gonna put in another load because yeah, I wanna wash my bedding so that I get sleep fresh tonight. And then um, all the underwears and socks are over there. I wash them separately. And then these are the clothes that we're just in. So I'm gonna hang these out on the line now, which is what you guys are gonna watch or you guys are watching me do. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the bedding in. All right, so I normally do not eat this early, but I am normally not up this early. <laughs> so before I head on the road, I am just going to get something in my stomach quickly. And I chose to go with an egg sandwich. I also got these eggs for free, so shout out to Tarika, thank you. If you're watching this video, you have officially sponsored my breakfast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and layer it. Mayo, mayo, egg, ketchup. Ooh, ooh. I couldn't do that, guys, so don't judge me. Then I'm just gonna put the tomatoes. I have to have some form of veggie on there, sometimes lettuce, plantain, anything. All right, complete. And then I just like to slice it down the middle. So messy, Jesus. I still can't eat properly. All right, so I am officially on the road. It's like outfit of the day, basic t-shirt. This actually is your for later. It's a Toronto brand. Your for later. I just threw my hair up into a quick bun. Shout out to the hair growth. I had my bangs like parted in the middle, piece for piece, but We'll just keep them on one side. I was gonna wear darker sunglasses, but I like to see. That way I don't have to keep taking off the glasses when I get indoors. So yeah, and then on the feet, just my high cut chucks with a pair of denim. So I'm gonna go catch a taxi now. You guys, this is the morning gin um pretty typical um every morning i could say is different but living on countryside this is one of the mornings waking up washing getting jazari ready for school making him breakfast sending him off and yeah i was glad that was i am glad that i was able to wash all my bedding so when i come off the road i'll just collect the clothes off the line and then yeah, I have other bedding, but I really like those ones. So I just always wash and put them right back instead of changing up. But yeah. I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for a ride. Oh, should I talk about a smile? Oh, what about a smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door, I gotta go for mine Cause I don't see you
guys, I forgot to vlog a certain part. I bought a pair of sunglasses. Tell me what you guys think about them. Like whenever I have my wigs on and stuff. I have all black sunglasses already, but these ones are just more skinny because my other ones broke. But yeah, tell me what you think about these. Alright. I think they fit my face. I'm gonna go buy some lip gloss, guys. Don't judge me. The lips are dry. Before I do that, I'm gonna go put some more credit on my phone. So I'm gonna go to the flow store. So I am currently doing the shopping But you guys, I'm not spending anything close to what I would normally spend because we already have I'm just trying to top up what we already have So Gizari likes Cineroll for his snack at school Which is... Here's my price About 6 Yeah, it's about 3 I don't know, but I need to top up on some macaroni and cheese, so let's go get that and see how much those are. So before I go for the mac and cheese, I just seen these. This is Jazari's number one snack. It used to be Ritz, but then he says the Ritz hurts his belly now, so I'm just gonna get him. Oh, you know what? There's some at home, so three. Actually, let me just do six. And in case I miss anything while shopping, I will do a haul once I get home, so just stay tuned. Thumbs up the video, subscribe, and you guys will definitely see everything that I bought once I reach at home. And that should also be the ending of the vlog for today as well. I don't see the macaroni and cheese, so I'm gonna head to the front. Oh, look what I found. What's the difference between this one and that one? Hmm. Check the dates, I guess. This one's expired in October, and this one, oh, these are spirals. Oh, they got stuff at the bottom. So this is the normal one. So we're gonna get three, should get six. I'll just stick to three, because there's already some at home. So yeah, and I don't see the price on that either. I'm going to just continue picking up stuff and like I said, I'll tune in when I get at home because shopping on the road in Jamaica, it does get hectic and people just stare at you like you're crazy. So, yeah. All right. You guys, I am drained. Every time I go on the road and come back, I am super done, 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 done. Like I could just bathe again and go right back to bed because being up from five o'clock this morning is a, it's not a joke. So I'm just gonna do a quick haul and show you guys like the little bits and things that I got, nothing serious. I can't recall how much I spent. So after doing the calculations while editing this video, I'll definitely put it across the screen just to give you guys a little gist of it. This is definitely not the shopping video that I will be providing for you guys. This is just like a day in my life of what I normally would grab whenever we need things. But I'm gonna try to make the groceries go like right down so that I could do like a full restock video on what we buy. So I got some chicken. Um, the chicken, there's about, there's one pound of minced meat in here and two pound of chicken, which is very minimal. I think it was like a thousand dollars for the mincemeat, which is ten dollars, and around say like a thousand dollars too for the chicken, I think, or less. So call it like two thousand dollars. So this bag is twenty dollars, and then I bought some carrots. Today is Monday, so yesterday was Sunday, obviously. So because I did Sunday cooking, I already bought so much vegetables. So I just kind of stocked up on just some carrots. There's a little bit of beans in here and some hot peppers. I use the hot peppers a lot in my ramen. So that's why there's so much of that. And then I also went ahead and grabbed some yam. All together for these, I think it was like another two grand. I honestly, I can't remember. The only reason why I can't remember with these stuff is because they're like side vendors and they don't have a machine to print receipts. 
but the rest of the stuff like what i got in here i got in the supermarket so they have receipts i also got a tomato with some nutmeg but yeah there's no receipts for that so let's just say let's just put aside like four grand five grand no four four grand four thousand which is like forty dollars um so yeah along with that you guys see me get the pringles six pringles for jazari snack he loves those let me tell you how much the pringles were so the pringles are 680 so that divided by six would obviously be like 110 for one so a dollar basically or two dollars in between one and two dollars for one cup of pringles and then mac and cheese i got three boxes of those the macaroni and cheese came up to 710 which is seven dollars which is divided by three basically like 250 230 each so two four six three six nine yeah so 690 a little bit more than that actually because 250 each would be five seven fifty yeah so like two dollars fifty cents for like one one of these that's kind of expensive because sometimes they go on sale in canada then i got some ramen six of these if you guys don't realize the pattern buying things in jamaica you get them in threes six nine twelve you know what i mean you just save money so for the ramen all six of them came to five hundred dollars so it's just under one dollar for one and then jazari's favorite snack is this cinnamon roll okay or cinnabun i should say. well it says cinnamon roll but on here it says cinnabun so for three of them is 410 so just over a dollar each so like say 150 that's 300 450 just call it like 150 each and then i also grabbed some tang which came to 10 for three two dollars and ten cents for three okay and then i didn't get a receipt for these things well i did for this one this is my puffer because you guys know i do have asthma so i get this without using a prescription i have a secret spot in format which is why i went to format there you go and this cost sixteen hundred dollars which is like sixteen dollars canadian i can get this for free if i go to the health center and just wait sit down um on mondays wednesdays and fridays they give out you know the pharmacy gives out free prescriptions but the wait is very long i also grabbed this it smells so good i have it in two other different scents as well oh my gosh so good and it's like an oil so it lasts long on your skin um some of you guys know i don't know if you do know but i like to perm or cream my edges that way they're much easier to handle manage do them easy but um this is 250 so how was it 250 no 400 dollars i think so like four dollars for this and it lasts me long and this was also four hundred dollars and then you guys heard me say that i have to get myself some lip gloss so i got the lip gloss i don't know where it is here it is so i got lip gloss and this was 250 so two dollars and fifty cents and then i bought the glasses these were 1500 and i worked them down to a thousand and then i also needed an eyebrow pencil so i got that as well i think this was like 150 oh no it was a hundred dollars and then i also got jazari some more now before i came home definitely had to stop and get the new bills these are the water bills let's see how much the water bill is 
last month it was 3,000. Uh, so it's the same thing, basically 4,000 on top. So the water bill is gonna be like $7,000. Ooh, it's gone up 10,000, frig. This is insane, without showing any information. This is crazy. That is how much the water bill is. Can you imagine? Like, why isn't water free? $10,000, $100 Canadian. So, I'm not gonna include the bill in how much I spent because I didn't pay it yet. But I'll definitely calculate everything that you guys know. And that is just a prime example of what I would spend living here in Jamaica, just to grab stuff to re-up, just to fill up, you know, a little bit of what's been missing. And here you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on. Bye.